Hello everyone and welcome to Doomsday Paradise given to me by Lemonade Flashbang. Now, I actually reached out to the uh, developer on this one and they were more than happy to let me give it a go. Also, this one has multiplayer. Unfortunately, my multiplayer um, darling is unfortunately working at the moment so they can't join us. So, we'll do it single player. Okay, so you can change who does what, game length. Game difficulty? What's the other difficulties? Adventure will all. Oh, no, we'll stop vacation, thank you. Play this tutorial, let's go. Try remote play. Welcome to Sunset Town, a beachside paradise known for its beautiful weather, excellent surf, and being threatened with annihilation about once a week. In response to the constant appearance of world ending threats, the town has filled itself with several incredible figures. The ever kind, generous, and horribly misfortunate Dr. Frank, legendary warrior and fiercely competitive retiree Cleo, radical dread pirate and marine biologist Captain Al, the peppy and excitable Haley, who comes to who comes out to trick or treat every day because she doesn't know when Halloween is, the ever scheming town merchant with secretive ties to shadowy entities Tessa. Vando, the great wizard, with mastery of his bat form and a love of the night. So there is six of them. Okay. Along with many others, all of whom are similarly committed to doing nothing about the end of days. But I mean, they all sound pretty strong, so you should be safe, right? Nope. Saving the world isn't cool anymore, and nobody wants to look like a loser. Some newbies or nobody will get to it. Speaking of newbies and nobodies, you arrive with the latest batch of fresh-eyed adventurers, eager to make a name for yourself by saving the world. Will you train yourself to become a legendary hero, defeating Dark Knight, ensuring the continuation of mankind? Probably not. I mean, come on, what are the chances? You've still got the tutorials on. You're going to die, friend. <laughs> wow, calling me up using the tutorial. Mean. There are only five days left before Dark Knight ends the world, so you might as well try to enjoy them while you can. Kick back, relax, and try not to get stabbed to death by demons out there. Dying before the apocalypse would be pretty embarrassing. We're about to tell you a story, but before that, tell me about yourself. You're hot, right? Tell me you're hot. Who are you? Oh. So, we've got like a skull girl thing going here? We're gonna have so much fun. Oh, okay, so that is the Pirate King. Sex marine biologist looking for a radical time. You gotta be cool with my crew though. I'm ride or die, baby. Cleo, I've got giant biceps and a trophy case full of defeated demon lords. Swords under six need not apply. I'm just on this app to make friends. I'd love to meet a chemistry buddy. I'm looking for a partner in crime. Hypothetically, wink wink. He can carry a lot of stuff. I'm a wizard, you wizard. <laughs> okay, Vando. Trick or treat, let's skip school and watch this Hasher flicks. Okay, so, oh, I get it now. Okay, so you choose one of these to play as. So you've got Dragon Girl, you've got Aquaman's cousin, uh, Mouse in Space, Frog Samurai, and this one. I think I'll go with this one, to be honest. And then you so choose, you can choose who you want to potentially date. So, I'm gonna go with the funniest one, which was Vando. See how this goes. You are a beautiful, beautiful cryptoid. Very good. I... I don't know why I clicked there. Dark Knight approaches five days remain. I don't know why I clicked. Does that affect anything? Choose a location from the signpost to begin your journey. Choosing a location will grant you a stat increase or item at the shop and kick off the next phase of the game. There are hot singles near you. Get to know the residents and hope help solve their problems. Mine's with that email that says, Hey, there's hot singles in the area. Every choice you make has different consequences and grants you different rewards. If you've seen an event before, you can fast forward for it to save time. Keep increasing your stats over the course of the game to get access to special dialogue choices and aid you in battle. You can keep track of your rewards in your inventory, but if it's your first time playing, don't worry too much and enjoy the ride. Every game you'll get a new random set of quests. Complete these side objectives and then turn them into get bonus rewards. Why did that sentence mess me up a bit? 
If you're looking for a date, make sure to complete your romance quest before the boss arrives. You can't romance characters you're not crushing on with some exceptions. Exceptions, yeah. Team up to challenge mini bosses and earn score by dealing damage. And different endings based on how you played, with variations based on whether you partied, fought, won, or lost. You can restart this tutorial and find several others in the control menu. Okay. Turn one. Doom approaches one. Ensure the government will handle the student principal. Yes, yeah, sure. Whatever. Oh, I get it. I got it back. Like so okay. A demon is blocking the road to the shop. They are strong. A skit has locked down the shop. It's going to be hard to get access now. What do you want to do? Can I try flirting? You flirt with your crush. You gain one affection with Vando. Oh, I like the music. Let's go. Let's go to the castle. You trade a baseball card in your backpack kit for a mummy for one magic. We are with Haley and Al to visit Vando, but you can't seem to find him. Where is he? I want to try on his pants. Wait, what, Al? Me too, they look so professional. Why is not here? What is going on here? The groundskeepers didn't see him either. Maybe he turned into a ghost? Or a spider? Oh, I hate spiders. Or a ghost spider. You guys are making it worse. You spot a man in a pie hat dashing away at the edge of your vision. You tell the others. Nice eyes, we need to catch up with the that man. He might know where Vando is. The three of you head after the mysterious man chasing him deep into the forest. You lose sight of the man, but find something else. A group of cultists. They huddled around a summoning circle, conducting an ancient ritual. In the centre of the circle sits a crocolith. Part toad, part basilisk. How did I read that so quickly? All apex predator. Whatever these cultists are planning can't be good. A dark silhouette appears on the other side of the tree line, and out steps the mysterious masked man. Vando, what are you wearing? Unhand the little baby if you want to live. This is crazy. Man, I wish Vanda was here to see this. Ow, really? Huh? Uh, are you sure? Is it just because they're both wearing hats? They don't even look that alike. Kind of a weird thing to fixate on. And this pants are way cooler than Vanda's. Oh, way of playing. Behind them, you can see the masked figure beheading the... Beheading? The various cultists while laughing hysterically. We can just ask him, I guess. Al steps out of the bushes, revealing himself to the masked man and the now headless cultist. Hey, my friend Red thinks you're Vando. You're not, right? Ooh, voice acting. We love this. I have never heard of your very handsome and talented friend. See? That sells it. Oh, you're a dumbass. The masked man rubs the crocolith's face, calling it a sweet baby boy before picking it up. Now I must really be going. Goodbye, strangers. Mask Man transforms into a bat and flies away while somehow supporting the massive crocolith with their tiny bat feet. Oh, someone drew me a picture of that. It was so cute. Did he just turn into a bat? I've only ever seen Vando turn into a bat. That must mean Mask Man is a wizard too. Oh my god. I don't think Vando is a wizard. What are you talking about? Pony morphing is like the wizard power. But it's only ever bats. It's probably easier. We should ask Vando. Where is he anyway? Well, dumb and dumb up. Yes, game, yes. Well, Dumb and Dumb will continue looking for Vando. You decide to explore the camp and find all sorts of forbidden magic here. You gain one magic. You decide to leave the ritual site not much later in case the cultists left behind any nasty curses. The three of you part ways soon after. You know, if you're appropriate enough, you don't really have the... I was reading that. Oh, demon attack. Okay, I have no idea how to battle. Oh, thank you. Towards the top left is your stats card. This contains everything you need to know about your character's stats and conditions. If you have any weapons, you'll be able to equip them at the start of each round. You can have a total number of weapons equal to your multi-wield. This number can increase during combat. Most of your turn will be spent using skill cards, which you'll learn from the residents of Sunset Town. You can use a number of skills and equal 
uh, equal to your brains. After your turn, your friends will chip in. Each of them will automatically use all the skills they've learned. They gain more power the more friendship you have. A lazy hero might not have to fight at all. Well, that's useful. Oh, now I feel like I'm playing Slay the Spire. Let's try this one. You shouldn't have messed with me. That enemy reminds me of something, and I can't think what. I have to think later. Ooh, we like overkill. Ooh, I'm glowing. Also, I really like that like sped up country music there. We're gonna have so much fun. Reminds me of Monster Prom as well. A bard offers to write a song after you. This may make others jealous. Sure. The bard sings a heroic song about you. You gain 25 score. Still, others become jealous. Sophie, a bit of rival, appears at the Coliseum. What do you want to do? That's part A. Make new friends. Crewmate joins the party. Oh, nice. Is there anything in the shop? The road to the shop is being held by enemies. They won't let you through without a fight. Uh, we Here we to. go again. Cthulhu's fault? Oh, thank you. And I'm... Just, like, Ow. I know I had an item. I had Hatred Potion. How do I use that? I need to learn more skills. Oh, he's one, one HP. Seriously, dude. You're gonna just... There we go. Does my health stay like that after battle, I wonder? Skits drop some loot. You acquire a muscle costume. Now that you've cleared out the demons, you can return to your business. Ooh. Ooh. Maskman enters the store while you're picking out some toothpaste. Why, hello, everybody. Tessa, I am needing something from you. Spell components? What? No, why would I need spell components? Because you're a vigilante? Oh, yes, of course. But I came with something else. I need duct tape and rope, some cuffs, a gag. Sounds like a fun time. It's not like that. What do you think, Bobso? Sounds kinky, boss. No, it's badass and cool. A badass way to fuck. Oh, dear. Surely nobody would. Depends on the person. What about you, Bobso? Gentle. What was I playing? I crushed my restraints and clapped cheeks, boss. You, you would? No, that is impressive. I surely could bust out if I wanted to. Oh, you should try it. You'll need to buy a whole lot to pin down a big strong man like yourself. This order just won't do. Yes, I'll need more to hold me back and my primal strength. Are you two flowing with each other? Oh, I'll be happy to get you some more supplies. The extra strength stuff, don't skip out. Give him the strong stuff we got, Bob, so the real costly premium stuff. Give it to me strong. Oh, another buyer. Sorry, Mossman, but you're all out of luck. What? But I was buying it first. Yeah, this isn't a democracy. I just care about the size of your wallet. But I'm rich. I just left my real coins at home. If you can't pull it out when it matters, you don't get shit. Now, Bob, so if you will, give it to him. The two piles on supplies in your cart. Most of it's pretty useless. Save the hundred. <laughs> oh, no. It's always a pleasure. Why did I agree to play this? I wanted the things. Fine, I'll go to the other store. You'll see. Sorry, Vando. Less than 30 minutes later, Marsman was escorted out of Sunset Convenience for trying to steal 50 pounds of duct tape. Why do you want duct tape? How do I heal? Because I can tell that I'm still injured. A great evil approaches Sunset Town. Where does it settle? The hospital is now cursed. You'll acquire a haunted helmet if you set foot there. What do you want to do? Uh, I don't want to know what this is, but I want to try anyway. You let loose. You acquire a purified purse. 
It's not a good thing. I need to heal. Oh. Lucky day. There's something on the ground. You acquire a haunted helmet. Oh, I healed. Brilliant. You help the doctors perform some plastic surgery on a mannequin with low self-esteem. <laughs> the mannequin is thrilled. You fully heal and gain one agility. You agree to help Marsman back break into the hospital. Okay, then. Thank you, Red. I am in forever in your debt. We need to get those organs as fast as possible. Or the nine-fanged goose dragon might not make it. Maskman was performing some at-home surgery to save that poor creature. And didn't want to take it to the hospital because only one was punishable by death in 57 countries. So that left the two of you sneaking into the organ room at night. As you enter the room, you hear footsteps behind you. Maskman flees inside as you turn to approach the oncomer. Hey, oh, hey, Frank. Oh, hey there, Red. I was wondering what that sound was. Uh, what are you doing in the organ room, pal? Now, you know I trust you completely, but it's like I was telling Al, we can't play with the organs this week. We have a ton of surgeries coming. A bus rolled over, and now a ton of kids need the help, poor things. We're putting an all-nighter tomorrow to get them done. Oh, they, uh, will be there tomorrow. You hear a crashing coming from the room behind you, followed by Marshall and shouting curses. Is someone in there? No, no, surely not. Oh, I thought I heard time. My bad. You hear more crashing and cursing, much louder this time. Oh, are you sure there's nothing there? Well, it sounds like an entire bookshelf of glass beakers crashes against the ground in the other room. It's for kids. Neighbors to die at night any longer. You slowly open the door to see Marsman hiding an oversized bag undoubtedly stuffed with organs. He's surrounded by shattered glass. Oh, this is open. Hello to the organs. Hey, just a moment. Marsman jumps out the window to freedom. You hear him crash into the dumpster outside. That sounded painful. I think I broke all my bones. Do you need help? I'll be fine. I'm just going to crawl home one hand at a time. Ouch. Oh, oh. Wow, he must have really needed those organs. It's not saving a busload of children, but I guess it's something. Why don't you take this to your friend? Frank bursts into tears as he prepares a health flask for you to take to Marsman. Oh dear. Hello demons. Uh, I have to. Wait, am I still poisoned? How about we get lost? I am! How am I still poisoned? Uh, is that all equipped? I hope it's equipped. Leave it to me, Captain. Monster. Can I get rid of the poison? Do I need to go to the shop and get like an antidote? You gain a casino chips. You shouldn't have messed with me. I have a beautiful so inventory, nice. Fun. A demon has stopped by the bar. They are weak. A stabby jack has stopped by the bar and isn't there anyone in. What do you want to do? See if that helps. You fully recover your health. Why am I still poisoned? I'm gonna go to the shop and see if there's an antidote. Paradise drink. Spirit bow. Ooh. I'm tempted. I'm gonna go with spirit bow. Well, hello, everybody. Greetings. I am here to give up the big head dude. Ah uh, yes, you have a big head, Billy. I'm always wanting one of those. I am not understanding. It's a little figure with a big head. It's a bubble head, you dunce. And this isn't just any bubble head. It's big head Billy. They only made 500 of these bad boys. So does he do anything? He bobs his head. But so what? He bobs it. Look, I've got a whole collection of these. I wouldn't even want one. Oh, oh my god. There's a lot of bobbing people. Oh yeah, can I call another bubble head scene with these guys? I actually kind of want one now. Next thing you know, I'll be running this town. These will help you run the town. Then you can't have it. I changed my mind. What? Oh, come on. This town belongs to me. Finally, a worthy flower. Are you for real right now? You're even going to take my bobblehead? 
No You're likely that's not all I take. You should have sworn fealty. I reward my followers. Watch. Vando pass you a herbal tea. Oh, thank you. I like tea. I bought this from a vending machine earlier and it almost made me puke. You may have it. Real generous. Oh, well, thank you. Now let us go show off our bobbing head. He and Vando leave the shop to show off the bobble head that he never really wanted to begin with. It's a wonderful night. Oh. Turn five. Oh no. The night before an apocalypse, Sunset Town throws what neighboring cities call an epic bender. This is the doomsday party, a party so hectic and crazy that even demons take the night off. This is where party animals become legends. The rest of your life will be decided in the next 24 hours. You definitely don't want to mess this one up. Although, to be fair, the rest of your life may only last 24 hours. You know, apocalypse and all that. If you're trying to nab a date to the party, you might want to check out your quest menu. Wait, I have a quest menu? Make sure you've locked that in. Otherwise, a summon... Otherwise, someone else might confess to your crush during the party and steal their heart away. Boy, would that suck. Or maybe you're planning on going it alone. Or breaking some hearts. Hey, I won't tell you how to live the rest of your life. Get ready, the party's about to start. I did not know there was a quest menu. Try to follow him. Poison vial was dropped by the Coliseum. Maybe you'll hand it over. What do you want to do? Let's flirt. You flirt with your crush. You gain one affection with Vando. Yeah, let's go close him. You'll click on sparkles on the ground, only for them to shapeshift into treasure. You acquire poison vial. You spend the next day flexing in front of the mirror. You gain one strength. Before the doomsday fire, you encounter masked men skulking around the alley. I still couldn't get up that voice. Oh, hello, Red. I wasn't expecting to see you here. I was just investigating this crime, you see. Someone stole all the kitty litter, and Vando's pit horror needs it to shit in peace. <laughs> I will get to the bottom of this. But anyway, what's that's a me problem. You know, you've been pretty helpful. Maybe it doesn't have to be a me problem. You're like an assistant to me, so very helpful. Thank you for your work. Maybe it's time to make it official. But first, we should discuss my true identity. No, I am Osman. Hundreds of years ago, I took a long nap, a 600 year nap to be exact. When Frank woke me up, I had my sweet party streamers and a six pack. Well, I always had the six pack, but I was still there. All my good friends were dead. The forests were going away, my lover was long gone. I was completely alone, everything was shit, except the beasties. So I do what I can to protect them. All the parties and the wizarding is just a disguise. My true identity is Marsman, and Vando is just a mask I wear. I wanted you to really understand if we're going to be doing this. You're not joining Vando, you're joining Marsman. Thank you, Red, for your help. For giving me one more person who's been worth waking up for. It's adorable. But as a partner, I need to be sure you're capable, so I'd like to teach you these spells. Ooh. Marsman teaches you Ritual the Witch and Magic Code Missile. Now, don't you have a pie to attend? I can handle it here. You decide to skip the pie. After all, there was cat litter to find. Okay then. Well, it looks like the Dark Knight is here and they're ready to demolish the world. Now's your chance to step up and capture the glory. Defeat the villain and save the one. Or you could send someone else. I'm really not here to judge you. I mean, I'm certainly not fighting. I'm just a narrator. I don't have any friends or loved ones here, but this is really a you problem, you know? Anyway, I'm sure you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Probably. Um, you know what, let's fight. Uh, I have to. Prepare yourself. Oh, cute horse. That has quite a bit of HP. You shouldn't have messed with me. Why am I still poisoned? one of my friends actually is this where I need to talk to her and say hey did you voice act in this game
Oh, two HP left. Whoa, that is overkill. Hey, I won! The world was saved, just like it always was. Sunset Town's apathy towards the apocalypse had paid off again. And how did the town celebrate? Well, of course, with a flurry of new pies and stupid antics. At least until the next world ending catastrophe would peak out over the horizon just a week later. But stopping that apocalypse, well, maybe that was someone else's problem. You did your part. And as for you, you and Marsman dedicated your life to saving monsters as horribly disguised village vigilantes. Krakens, dragons, basculists, pretty much nothing is off the table. And the more lethal, the better. In response, criminals begin to up their game, adorning more flamboyant but equally useless outfits. But in the end, you and Marsman always triumph. And the beasties are always saved. Oh, there's quite a few endings. 65 in total, wow. Okay. And we unlocked. That is a legit tooth fairy, isn't it? Costume unlocked. Oh, nice. Okay, everyone. So that was Doomsday Paradise, given to me by Lemonade Flashback. Honestly, I really enjoyed it. Um, I don't think this is one that you want near younger players. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for allowing me to play that. That was brilliant. I only played the short version, but hopefully I'll get back to it at some point and play a longer version. But yeah, guys, if you like the content I'm putting out, link to my coffee is in the description below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye for now.